Now what that means, days to maturity, if you plant a seed outside, days to maturity starts when the seed leaf comes up, which can, it could happen in under a week in some extreme cases, but usually it takes two to three weeks. So they start tamming it from there until the time the plant produces a flower or begins to produce fruit. So you would add on, if you were succession planting, if you were concerned, you still have time to plant in your garden, depending on what time of year it is, is there enough time? Don't just say, oh, 75 days, yeah, I've got 85 days left in my season I can plant because it's not going to work that way. So add on, say, two weeks approximately for the seedling to come up, depending on what time of year it is and what the seedling is. And then you're going to need to add on time for the plant to produce. And <laughs> days to maturity, you might be adding on six weeks of that time. If you start seeds indoors, tomato seeds for example, might say start indoors uh, four to six weeks before your outdoor planting time. They don't count that time in the days to maturity, so add that on. They count the time from when you transplant it out. And again, I mean transplant it out to when it starts to flower, not to when it produces a mature uh, fruit or vegetable. On top of that, when you transplant out, you often get what is called transplant shock. Even if you harden off your plants, which means putting them outside a little bit more each day, putting a fan on them so that you get used to wind, so they're strong enough to handle it, um, get used to the elements, and strong enough, you're still going to have some transplant shock. That usually sets you back two to three weeks. So if it says days to maturity for a tomato is, say, 80 days, 80 days plus the two or three weeks for transplant shock, plus the six to four to six weeks from starting the seeds indoors, and then amount of time it takes to get from a tomato, a little green tomato, to a mature tomato. Today is uh, July 2nd. We have a bunch of tomatoes in our garden. We have had excessive heat as uh, in the 90s, something that we're not really used to this early in the season. It's been different heat waves around the country. I know some places are hitting 120, so it's a very warm summer, warmer than most. Our tomatoes are actually starting to ripen. It's not unheard of for us to get a tomato in July, but when you consider that we started them, we think April, I probably started them late March. I have a tendency to jump the gun, so let's say late, late March. Some of them are transplants that we bought they were uh, purchased around the end of May and planted around the end of May. So here is about five weeks later and they are just starting to produce tomatoes. I'd say we're probably going to have tomatoes, well definitely by the end of July. But anyway, days to maturity, when you're looking at it, it sounds very complicated, it's not. After a while, you know that when you plant a seed out, what's going to happen, you know if you have enough time. Days to maturity can vary on different varieties of the same plant, up to three weeks. It depends. Um, also different, like for example, uh, this is a sugar baby watermelon. I'm not on the back it has harvest time, which I really like. I would much rather see days to harvest and days to maturity. This says ready to harvest in 75 days and then it talks a little bit about how you'll know when the watermelon's right. I planted these in a container last week so it was the last week of June. It was a month later than we normally plant. I haven't looked to see if they come up yet but once they come up say it takes another week for the seeds to sprout then we'll have, have har ready to harvest in 75 days we still have the rest of July, all of August, all of September, and we will be getting our watermelon. It's pushing it. We get a, uh, we can get a frost here as early as mid-September. We usually don't. We can go as late as 
the middle of October, end of October. So it is pushing it, but I know ways to make it. Uh, save the plants from, from frost. You can cover them with sheets. If it's a light frost, once you get a killing frost, there's nothing you can do. I could also take the t watermelon and put it in our weed greenhouse. We have a Harbor Freight greenhouse, the small size, and things like that. But I will let you know. I'll keep you informed. Was I able to push the, the season far enough? I think, I think so. We'll see.